Hi, I'm Bill Peroni, President and CEO of Accord, and I want to provide a very brief introduction to Accord Connect being held in Boston this October 29th and 30th. Uh, the keynote study this year is being sponsored by Duck Creek Technology, and we want to provide you a bit of an overview of the scope, approach, and our initial hypotheses for the thought leadership study. Over the last few years at Accord events, we've conducted what I think is some groundbreaking real innovative research. In 2016, we looked at digitization. Specifically, the top 125 largest insurers worldwide, we measured them in terms of digital maturity, and we said, did digital maturity matter? Clearly, there is a direct link between digitization, growth, share performance, and free cash flow. In 2017, we looked at the top 150 largest global insurers, looked at 10 years of value creation, and one of the key findings there was that winning carriers simultaneously executed against all strategic options, price, product, consumer segmentation, and innovation. Last year, we looked at the global marketplace, 10,000 carriers, 85 countries, and we looked at GDP penetration versus GDP penetration growth. And one of the things we discovered is when you look at those 85 countries and the 11,000 carriers, the characteristics of countries based on GDP and GDP penetration have a profound impact on viable strategies and tactics. This year is no less interesting and I think no less profound. We are looking at what we call intelligent growth. Specifically, what is the linkage between premium growth and value creation as you look across lines of business on a global basis? The next question we're seeking to address is which growth strategies support sustained value creation over time? Again, this is going to be over a decade. And lastly here, what are the execution imperatives enabling what we call intelligent growth? At a very high level, 100 largest insurers 20 years of performance, 1998 through 2018, 1.9 trillion in premiums, about 40% of the world's marketplace. We're looking at financial statements, conducting interviews, proprietary research, looking at operating and financial metrics, and we're looking at growth versus value creation over the 20-year time period. We're going to be identifying what are your options to grow and the implications around capabilities. What are the discrete factors impacting growth? And what are the strategies and tactics for intelligent growth, growth that creates value? Well, you one may ask, what, what's intelligent growth? Well, if you look at growth and you look at value creation, there are some carriers out there who aren't growing and who are destroying value. We call them waning carriers. At the other end of the spectrum are those carriers that are growing and creating value. We think there are two unsustainable segments, specifically those carriers that are growing but destroying value, and those carriers that are creating value but shrinking. Over the long term, it's our hypothesis that you're either going to grow intelligently, grow and create value, or you're not going to grow and you're going to destroy value and ultimately disappear. Now, we're beginning our analysis, as we do with all of our research, with some initial hypotheses that we're seeking to confirm and some approaches around doing the analysis and investigation. There are strategic and tactical imperatives. Around plan and execution, it's our belief that you need to have an explicit strategic intent and invest to execute it. Organizationally, you need strategic flexibility and operating adaptability. That you need to think about growth horizons, horizon one, two, three, N. How are you thinking about successive layers of growth? It can't just be a one-off experiment. You need to balance efficiency with effectiveness. You can't solely focus on cost without improving overall effectiveness and thinking about reinvesting it. And that goes back to the last point, investment versus earnings. Clearly, buying back stock or increasing dividends may enhance earnings per share and stock price in the short term, but reinvesting it to support those growth horizons, it's our belief, will be critical as we identify intelligent growers. Next, talent and culture. In the end, we're nothing more than all the people we have at our organizations. Are you attracting, developing, and retaining talent? Do you have aligned values across the enterprise? Are there appropriate measures, incentives, and implications for non-performance? Do you balance leadership and management? So vision, plan, direction with actual execution. And do you have a governance and overall structure in your organization that helps to sustain intelligent growth? Next belief. Solutions and markets. 
Do you take a portfolio approach regarding lines of business, pricing, solutions, terms and conditions, channels? How do you think about M&A versus organic? We have some hypotheses. I don't reveal what they are yet. It'd be nice to confirm that. Do you have defensible models? Sometimes you may hear in the investment banking communities discussions of a moat. Do you have a strategic moat? How is your brand position with your evoke set? Those you're trying to sell to and those you're trying to sell through. And strategic inflections. You think about strategic inflections in the marketplace. Sometimes it's technological, sometimes it's economic, sometimes it's regulatory. How do you as an organization cope with those? Data and analytics, focus versus intent, saying versus doing. The difference between actually accomplishing something and accomplishing something. So how do you acquire and synthesize data? Do you process it and deliver it and use it at the moment of value? Do you learn by doing and grow? And how are you at prediction and optimization? One of the newer technologies that artificial intelligence uh, enables uh, is actual driving cost of prediction down to nothing. How do you use new technologies? And lastly, innovation and change. We as an industry are notoriously not good at change. Um, do you have vision? Do you have resources? Capacity and competency around change. Incremental versus disruptive change. Incremental change is oxymoronic. How do you think about disruptive change within your organization? Back to the inflections and disruptions. How do you cope with them? Planned, unplanned, and unforeseen. And then validation and timing around what you should do, when you should do it, and how you should do it. Very excited welcoming all of you to come to the event Accord Connect. Uh, the Intelligent Growth will be the keynote, but there's many other speakers and opportunities to learn and grow and interact with colleagues. Again, October 29th through 30th in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, looking forward to seeing all of you there. Thank you.